So on this channel, we have discussed a lot of people who have lost their jobs over some pretty stupid personal decisions. Like for instance, the police officer who had 16 girlfriends in 16 different small towns, or the guy who destroyed the subway sandwich shop he was working in trying to get a record deal with Meek Mill. At Meek Mill. Tell, tell Meek Mill to sign me the dream chaser. At Meek Mill. Let him know, nigga. Trying to get signed the dream chaser. All this subway All of this subway bro. At Meek Mill, man. Let him know. I'm trying to sign the dream chaser, bro. Get us. I'm not with none of this clout chasing shit, bro. All of this clout chasing shit is temporary, bro. Deadass. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to be doing none of this. We live in a society today where even grandma is hungry for clout. And when I say clout, I really mean online impressions. Likes, comments, direct messages from a stranger. These are all things that fill our brains with dopamine hits. That little notification that goes off on your phone when someone interacts with you online is essentially wired into your brain at this point. And with TikTok coming around, I think it made society so much worse when it comes to this need for impressions. Because the ability to go viral is constantly at your fingertips. There's no more video editing software, there's no more needing a video camera, all of those barriers to entry are gone. You can get on your iPhone 7 and drop a fucking banger that the entire world is gonna see, and possibly even change your entire life. And in some instances, like that Mexican dude with his skateboard, who's now chilling with Snoop Dogg, it can create a very positive situation. But sadly, in other instances, it can completely derail someone's life and career. This is where today's story comes into play, where a group of nurses were fired after posting this video on TikTok where they shared their icks when it comes to their job as a labor and delivery nurse. And for those of you out there who don't know what an ick is, first off, congratulations. And secondly, it's basically something someone does that makes you cringe, usually used in a romantic setting, but used here to basically say this is what annoys me about my job. Ick is when you come in for your induction, talking about, can I take a shower and eat? What? My ick is when you ask me how much the baby weighs, and it's still, and it's still in your hands. <laughs> Dad comes outside and asks for a paternity test right outside the room door. Saying you don't want any pain medicine, no epidural, but you are at an 8 out of 10 pain with just a Cervidil and you're still closed, fingertip. Well, we've already told you to push the call light, but every five minutes, your Excuse family me. member coming Excuse at me. the front Excuse desk. Me. Can I have some water? Ask for something else. Excuse me, can I have a blanket? <laughs> Another egg. When you're going room to room between one baby mama and your other baby mama. Oh, no. Egg. <laughs> See that. It's the unlimited trips to the nurse's station for me. Let's just be honest here. Everyone complains about their job and even the people they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. But when your specific job is essentially to take care of people in need, dealing with pregnant women and their loved ones on the verge of giving birth, and you come out with statements about why you hate dealing with them, it's obviously not gonna be a very good look for your company. And nowadays, a short run of bad press can really damage a business, as word spreads at an insane rate online. So these companies really have no choice other than to act quickly and harshly when something negative about one of their employees goes viral. You're fired, get out of here. They release this statement that reads, Emory Healthcare is committed to providing empathetic, high quality care to our community and patients come first. We are aware of a TikTok video that included disrespectful and unprofessional comments about maternity patients at our hospital. We have investigated the situation and taken appropriate actions with the former employees responsible for the video, meaning they sent them to the unemployment line. I really do think there should be yet another lesson that talking about your job on social media, especially while you're at work, in uniform, is really just an idiotic thing to do. These women spend all those years and all that money going to school for all that time, working, building up their resumes, all to throw it away in about 20 seconds because they wanted to record a stupid TikTok trend. That is where we are at in our society today. And just to be completely honest with you guys, I really do not like nurses in general. When my grandfather was passing away in the hospital from lung cancer, there were some real bitches to not only my family, but my grandfather himself in the last days of his life. And I just don't think I'll ever really be able to forget that. 
To me, they're almost like the female version of the police. Like you would think that most people going into the profession of helping people would be wholesome individuals, but it's usually the opposite. And maybe it's just the effect the job ends up having on a person, I'm really not sure. All I know is personally, if I'm not the nurse who had the idea to do this whole TikTok, I'm knocking the block off of whoever decided to film me that day. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Has anyone at your workplace, or anyone that you know in general, lost their job over something they said or did online? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing, and I also just want to say happy holidays, guys. I really appreciate you. As you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.